I'm Dina of Dina Designs, and I'm pretty excited to be doing this video for you guys today. I hope you're all staying safe. It's hard being at home all the time, but craft, that's what I say, craft, garden, and cook. Think of things that make you happy. I'm going to take you on a little tour of my garden first, show you where I get inspired, and then we'll go take a tour of the studio. Sound good? Let's go. Right, this is my chickens who are all hiding because it's so hot. There's one right there, but there's four of them. They lay our eggs and they're very cute. And this is um, my vegetable garden that I just started since the COVID virus because I thought it would be a really nice thing to do. And it actually, I'm like a child. I run out of my bed every morning to see if any seeds have popped up, which plants are doing well. I water them, I talk to them, I groom them. This is my thing. So come on, I'll show you my vegetables. You can see them all out here. I have tomatoes and I have a lot of seeds coming up in there which are my favorite because I like to see when they pop. You can see my arugula just popped so that's pretty cool. And here's my lettuces and more tomatoes and zucchini. I like to have a project each day so at the end of each day I feel like I've gotten something done. So today's project I'm painting these blue outdoor chairs. They were all different colors. I'm not finished. It looks kind of bad right now. But this is today's project. I have six of them, and I'm gonna get these done. I got them at the flea market. They were gray, and then some of them were brown. They're all gonna be navy blue by the end of the day. Let's go in the studio. Pick these flowers from outside. I like to start sometimes with picking flowers, putting them into a pretty vase, getting inspired by the colors and everything else. And I wanna show you my studio now. Let's go. Nice yellow door, this is new. And look, my orchids decided to bloom to match my yellow door, which they haven't done in like fabulous years. fabulous is that? It's fabulous. Now, excuse my studio, it's a little messy, but that means I'm doing things. Welcome, welcome. I smell a hot glue gun, but you don't smell like it's in Maybe. So this is my studio. It's completely full of paper flowers now. That has been my thing for the last many, many months. And I'm totally entertained by it. I hand paint them. I use crepe paper. I'm having the best time. So you can see every week, usually when someone comes to my studio, I'm doing something different. So, but this, these take forever to make. So this has been a, a long, long project. So this is usually where I sit over here. Here's my mess, come see. You can see I have my little soda with my, water, with my um, straw. <laughs> I have all my supplies very neatly compartmentalized and super <laughs> organized, and I love that. I hate being messy. <laughs> and let's see, what else can I show you? My furry thing on my chair which keeps me cozy my hot glue gun Ta -da! <laughs> we can go in here you're gonna see a lot more flowers and you're gonna think I'm crazy <laughs> here's the mad woman a crazy little lady and here we'll go in this part of my studio this is where I um, my assistant Heidi works over here and when I finish painting things, I put them in piles all over here. And then I sort through and decide which designs are gonna be good for what. And then I make it into a collection. But you can just kind of see how I, how I work. It's not the most organized, but it works for me. <laughs> so, come on over this way and I'll show you the new fabric collection. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started and how you got inspired and all the fun things? Okay, I can do that. I have been designing painting for the last 30 some years. 
Uh, I went to UCLA. I was going to be an architect, which is really funny because I my buildings would have all fallen down. Would have been very bad. <laughs> but I fell into textile design totally accidentally. I was taking a year off before I was gonna go to grad school. I moved to New York City with my boyfriend who is now my husband of like 35 years. And I lived there and I tried to get a job doing architecture, you know, just beginning helping an office. I could not get a job. I almost got a design job making like $200 a week designing lace, but I didn't even get that job. So, <laughs> so I saw an ad in the New York Times for textile designers and I had seen a textile design show in a museum. So I kind of knew you're drawing flowers on paper. I had no money pretty much. I went to the store, the art supply store. I bought the only brush I could afford, which had about three hairs in it and cost like $3. I bought a few colors of gouache and I had a pizza pan at home. So I went back to the apartment, I had some, I bought some paper, had no idea what to do. But I cut the paper into very small pieces so it would last me a long time because I really couldn't afford to get too many pieces of paper. <laughs> so I had these little squares, maybe six inches by six inches, and I just started playing around, painting very intricate designs on these six inch squares. And I would spend the entire day on one six inch square. So whatever happened in that day on that six inch piece of paper was what my design was. So I gave myself the full day, eight hours to get it done. And they were actually some of my most favorite designs I've ever done. So it was so much fun and I was so excited about it. So I thought, well, maybe somebody will buy one of these. I don't know. So I found an agency who was selling designs in England for apparel, and that seemed to go pretty well. And I mean, I wasn't making much, not enough to live on, that's for sure. So then I just, I got a real agent, like a good agent, and things just started to happen. And I think it was because I didn't really know how to paint. That's why my style was so different from everyone else's, because I didn't paint anything realistically. Everything was kind of whimsical and made up. I painted a butterfly the way I thought a butterfly should be painted. I painted um, in colors that I thought looked good together and ev nothing was planned. So I'll just take a piece of paper and just sometimes start painting. I'll have something visual in my head sometimes, but sometimes I just, you know, I have a color story in mind or I have a type of flower that I want to focus on or an animal. Um, I've been designing probably for about, I don't even know how many companies, uh, probably at the height, I was designing for about 40 different companies at the same time. Everything from children's clothing to dinnerware, lots and lots of bedding and wallpaper and fabrics and greeting cards, paper goods. And I love everything. I love doing everything. Fabric though has always remained one of my favorites because I love mix and match. I get excited when I see patterns that go well together and each pattern makes the other pattern look better as a whole. So that's perfect for, for quilting. You know, you're putting different colors together and sizes of prints and it's exciting. And you're, you get to be the artist in terms of where you choose to lay your fabrics out, which colors you want where, how you want the overall feeling to be. And when I'm designing, I'm kind of thinking that way too. I'm trying to think of how would you use these collections together? How would you use them in your homes? Are they gonna be quilts? Are you gonna make a dress? Uh, a tote bag, whatever it is. And I'm always thinking, usually, actually, usually, in terms of making something that's gonna make you happy. Because I wanna be surrounded by things that make me happy. So I'm looking for colors and ideas that just feel lively and fun and get you excited about sewing. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna introduce you to my new collection, which is called Adelaide. And it's just a very fun, hand-painted look, which is usually what I specialize in. 
everything is hand painted and I I just I have the best time when I'm hand painting it's so much fun I just get lost in it um, this was the design how it started on paper this is just a color copy but you can see it's just very loose very pretty very hand painted lots of color this was another one that I did that I really loved because it had the little parakeets in it and all the flowers. You can see I just, I make my notes on top of the paper. I said, add another bird right here, or I'll say something's not right over here, but I will write notes um, on my designs as well. So let me show you the collection, starting with this really pretty teal color. And to me, this feels really tropical. And my, one of my favorite color combinations has always been green and pink. And I've never veered off that. That I just always think it's fresh and pretty and I wanna be enveloped in those colors. So this, this pattern, whoops, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna do this, wait. I just got these in the mail yesterday from Free Spirit and they're, they're not the final they're the, um, these are just strike offs and some of the colors are gonna be tweaked a little bit, but not much. I'm really happy with the way this looks. So let me show you some of the combinations that I chose. This one, which I did just out of dots, almost like a little mosaic. And it's just in shades of greens and soft blues and teal. And it just has a nice, flow to it and you can use it almost as a solid. It goes with everything in this color range. And then I did, um, a, this is kind of a old, more old fashioned little floral, but it's tiny, it's ditzy. And I think the combination with the larger hand painted print is nice. And then a lot of times what I'll do is I try to throw in an animal with every collection. This time it was the parakeets. I love the little parakeets because they pick up on all the colors and then you still get to have the overall coverage, which is so pretty and it goes with everything. I mean, I could just totally see this as an adorable little dress for a child, so cute. Or I could see it as a beautiful quilt for a bed. Anything you want. I mean, tablecloths, aprons, all of the rest. Let me, what? Yeah, I had to find out where I hid all my other fabrics. So they're all over here, but these show you some of the other colorways. This is actually a slightly smaller scale, but I love these colors. Can you see them? Oh yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. So I, I think this is so pretty, and then we have so many patterns that go with it. There's three colorways for this collection, but they all kind of go together. There's a little bit of each color, same thing in each collection. So here's another pink and green. And then I love this, cause this gives it kind of a little modern edge to it. So I did sort of just a very brush strokey, modern um, two-tone, which can almost be used as a solid. It's very subtle. And then I did a yellow, like we saw the other teal. And then, of course, you have to have the bird. And this one is kind of like a really pretty light pink in the background. And then I have this very modern, also it comes in gray. And I love mixing vintage and modern patterns. That's something that I've always done. And I've always mixed florals and geometrics. That's what I do in, that's kind of what I'm known for, I guess, um, in everything I do, whether it's my children's clothing or my bedding, um, it's always mix and match. And I love to do bedding that's reversible. I, I mean, think about using these as duvet covers and having them reversible. It would be so pretty. All your pillows a little bit different. Here's another one, another colorway. And this is just very fresh and can be coordinated with all of the other designs. I mean, even you can even use this gray 
because it has a little bit of gray in it. You can use this one. So it just has a little bit of these teal colors and this was from a, diff a different colorway, but I try to make them so you can use them in multiple ways. I wanna show you um, also what I usually do. Oh, 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 before I do that. I'm missing one, it's right down oh, there. I'm missing one, wait, this one. Ta-da! And it comes in a, it comes in peach too. Wait, let me find it. Here it is. Yay! Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> okay. So this is really pretty too. Um, and, but these go with the all, all three of the collections, the colorways, and um, I can show you how that looks as well. This one would probably go with this you get the peach from this flower, the coral color and the coral color. And this one would go really nicely with this. It's very fresh, a little tropical, really pretty. And I wanted to show you before we say goodbye, I wanted to show you one more thing that we've been doing since all of the COVID is I've been donating lots and lots of fabric to friends who are making hundreds and hundreds of masks. And I have a couple over here I can show you. And I have a friend who comes over just about every week and I give her bolts of fabric and she passes them out to her friends and they all make masks. See? Cute, you could make some masks to go with your comforter. You never know. <laughs> so nice meeting all of you. Thank you so much for listening and looking at my studio and my garden and nice to be with you. Take good care.